Where is he going? What's going on? What's he running from? Is he running from someone?
I'm not hurt. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district and east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babari Hadith. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. Take action. It falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learn everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered. Won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed. You'll need it.
Go. Be gone, Pace. Please, don't do that. Be worried, friend. The Shaitan is everywhere. Watching. Why is he running Waiting. Around? He tempts us always. Be strong. Be strong. Strong like Salah Hadid. Who? Oh. He seems to be in a hurry. You my family has to come down. Could you say that you wish I could hear, my friend? There's nothing I do not have. Like what you say, reckless can one get. That man seems to be in a hurry. There's no reason for doing that. What's he doing that for? I have Safety and me. peace, Altair. We live in harsh times, do we not? I am in an ocean of trouble. I had a mission to investigate some strange disappearances in the rich district, and Talal's men saw my face. My status is compromised. Would you be kind enough to eliminate them for me in exchange for the information you seek? <laughs> what is he doing? You won't be disappointed. Just a little money, I beg of you. Come, I am at you. Come see what I have to offer. <laughs> <laughs> Could I interest you in some of my work? <clears throat> yeah, come, come. All right, where are you? Altair, you're rid of the ones who knew me? Excellent. Here's what I learned about Talal. He's a powerful slaver who occupies an area north of town, near the Barbican. He pays a tribute to the city guards, so he can operate in the shadows. But from what you showed me today, I'm sure he will share the same fate as the others. Thank you again, Altair. like a child. Coward! If it wasn't for the money, I'd be long gone! You're either stupid or blind. Maybe it's both. How can you say that? You didn't see what happened. I saw well enough. Our caravan was attacked, and the first thing he did was flee! No, he didn't run. What are you talking about? Do you forget what became of the men who attacked us? Filled by our archers, thanks be to God. Not our archers, him, alone. So you're saying he saved us? Yes, he headed for higher ground, and used his bow to kill them. I... I have no idea. The man's a master archer. You do well to remember that.
something. No, so you don't understand. I have nothing. Much 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 much. Much. I have many things. Many things. I got the first one. Could you please be more careful? You can't just do that and it's like English king and his infidel. Do you think he's being chased? Hey, could you please not do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Which is what the man come to provide. All that is asked is an honest day's work. A small sacrifice for great rewards. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. Nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. What's this? Seems I've made some enemies. Al Mualem asked that I shadow the slave trader, and I did, though not well enough. He discovered me, and I've been running from his men ever since. I need to get out of the city, but I can't do it alone. Help me, and I'll share what I've learned with you. No? Well, there's more, much more. Do 
I look like a merchant? No. So go away. Go away. You want something? Thank you, brother. Take this map. It lists Talar's hiding places. Useful information should that coward choose to run instead of fight. And from what I know of the man, run is what he'll do. Altair before me. What an honor. You must be here for a very important mission. Maybe I could help you. I have been eavesdropping and I have learned much. However, I have erred. I had some Masiyeth flags to deliver to the bureau leader, but I lost them when attacked by thugs. Could you find them for me? I must be back to my mentor before he returns from the market, so you must be fast as the wind. What is that man thinking? You there! Yes, you! Come! I knew I could count on you, Master Altair. Here is what I learned from listening to the guards near the Dome of the Rock. They were talking about the man named Talal. They said he has many loyal followers, all of whom will readily give their lives for the man. Their master is in danger. They are sure to intervene, giving Talal time to escape. That is all I know. I hope my small contribution will help. to waste more of my time? I've found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem's citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Ah. 
fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Where is he going? Thanks, Joseph. Now, slaver. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is Help a life me. of servitude. Save me! <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. I stand before you. 
What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is plain. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned, the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your fire. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet it seems. But you will. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Mualim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. 
Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway. I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code.